Hi there, this is Helen from HypnoFit, speaking to you from St. Louis in Missouri in the United States. And today I'm going to be talking to you about jet lag. So no matter where I go, whether it's Europe or the States or wherever, I always make a decision that I will not have jet lag. So let me tell you about my trip yesterday. So. I left Australia Wednesday morning and um, I then flew into LA. Following that, I stayed in LA airport about three and a half hours before taking on the next plane to St. Louis. And that flight was about three and a half hours. And then of course, by the time you get your luggage and all the rest of it all up, I was traveling well in excess of 30 hours um, just to get here to St. Louis. And, um, you know, I'm feeling fine today. And the reason being is that there are two things that you need to do to make sure that you just do not have jet lag. And the number one thing, number one thing, the first thing is to decide it, just to decide. I decided that I don't do jet lag. It's something that I don't do. Um, I believe that, you know, whatever we tell ourselves in our mind, that's what we'll, we will experience. So if we say we're going to be exhausted, we're going to be tired, then of course that's what we're going to feel. But if we say to ourselves that, no, I don't do jet lag, I'm going to be fine, then that's the message that our body receives as well. So that's the first part. And there's always two parts. There's the mind and the body. And whenever we do anything in hypnosis, we always address both those parts, the mind and the body. Okay, so yeah, the first thing is to decide that you will not have jet lag because it's too disruptive to your trip, to your travel plans. When I um, start presenting this afternoon, I will have eight presentations to do all up. And I can't afford um, to be feeling tired or to be feeling exhausted. I need to make sure that I'm operating in my best capacity, physically and mentally. So I do everything that I possibly can to make sure that I'm feeling good. It's, it's vital. It's, it's really, really important. For instance, um, after this afternoon's presentation, tomorrow morning I'll be opening up the conference and I'll be doing the morning keynote and I have to have a lot of energy especially you know I've got the job of um, revving up the Americans <laughs> the Americans who are the most revved up people in the world and so I can't sit there being exhausted and tired because I've just traveled from Australia so I need to make sure that I'm you know I've actually got the clarity to, to do what I'm supposed to do so that is number one number one is mindset deciding that you will not have jet lag because you're just not going to do it. Secondly, the second part, which is where the body comes into it, is just, is um, making sure, and this is vital, I can't believe people don't do this, this is so, you know, basic, which is you need to adapt to the destination that you're going to from the moment you step into the plane. And what that means is you don't wait until you get off on the other side, you actually look at your watch and see what time it is um, at your destination and behave accordingly. So, for instance, with myself, I didn't allow myself to um, sleep in the plane, which I didn't mind anyway because I didn't really want to. I wanted to catch up on um, all the movies that I could possibly see. I wanted to have like a massive binge session on um, all the movies I've been wanting to watch and, and never got around to it because I'm so busy. <laughs> so, um, and then if I did feel tired, if I felt like my eye was starting to go, to close down, I'd simply just get up and go for a walk and then that shook it out of me and had a bottle of water and that shook it out of me as well. So, um, as soon as I arrived here in America, of course I was exhausted absolutely exhausted traveling for over 30 hours but um, you know I could have easily just collapsed on the couch and or on the bed and went to sleep but there was no way I was going to do that because I knew that if I did that that would that would impact my night's sleep that night so I waited until 10 p.m. of that night 
to sleep, which meant I missed out on a whole night's sleep. So there was two whole days that I went through without sleeping. And that's fine. You can do that, right? You know, I just say to myself, well, you know, if surgeons can sit there and um, do an intricate operation that will take them 48 hours, I can stay awake for 48 hours when I don't have to be thinking about too much. So you don't go to sleep until that night. You just hang on, hang on. And then what happens is, of course, you're so exhausted that you sleep the normal night that everybody else is sleeping here in the United States. And you wake up like a normal person. That, and there's nothing nothing going on, nothing different about you or whatever. Everything else is exactly the way it should be. So there are my two tips. First thing is decide that you don't do jet lag. And number two, hold off on the sleep until it's, it's the time to go to sleep. So um, I hope that's been helpful to you. So for your next travel plans, remember, uh, make sure that you don't sleep when you're not supposed to be sleeping and um, decide that you're not going to do jet lag and that way you're going to enjoy your holiday, you're going to have a good time and uh, make the most of it. So once again, mindset is everything, guys, everything. But our whole life is, is determined by how we think, our thoughts create our world and so um, make sure that your thoughts create your world. Whatever you want to be today or tomorrow, um, you decide it and then you can be it. Okay, see you later. Helen from HypnoFit.